Hi there. My name is Nick Stasoulis, and I'm a hydrologic technician with the USGS office here in Augusta, Maine. I'd like to take a few minutes to talk about staging a moving boat ADCP measurement in SWAMI. Hopefully, you've already seen the SWAMI screencast video that discussed staging a measurement in general. If not, review that video before finishing this one, as it provides some good introductory information. In the general staging video, we indicated that we would like to stage a measurement in SWAMI, which brings you to the acoustic information page where we are now. The information on this page is fairly self-explanatory, but I'd like to make a few points. First, this page is where you take notes as you are preparing for and completing the discharge measurement. Here, you make notes on when the time was synced, complete the ADCP test, calibrate and evaluate the compass, Note what model of GPS was used, and what boat or motor was used. The moving bed dropdown is asking whether or not there is a moving bed condition, not if you did a test. I'd like to point out that temperature comparison measurements with your ADCP must be entered in this temperature salinity page, not in environmental measurements. In the temperature salinity readings page, you enter the time of your comparison, the instrument reading, and the verification reading. Salinity values can also be entered, as well as comments relating to your comparison. Once complete, hit the Add button, and notice that multiple readings can be added here. Selecting Done will take us back to the Acoustic Information page. Clicking Acoustic Channel Notes will bring us to the Acoustic Measurement Notes page, where you can make miscellaneous notes relating to the channel. Enter a title for your note. Examples might include Edge, Transect 1, Loop Test, or others. Then make your comment. Selecting Add will store the comment below. You will also notice the number of characters remaining in the site visit comment field based on the notes you've made so far. Selecting done here will take us back to the acoustic information page. Leave this acoustic information page open while you are measuring so you can make any necessary notes. Once the measurement is complete, select done and move on to the channel summary page where you can document channel conditions and the measurement location. The drop-downs make documenting channel conditions pretty easy. Selecting Done will bring us back to the Discharge Measurement page where we can see our staged channel, which still needs discharge information. By right-clicking on the channel, or clicking and holding on the PDA, we see the options to edit or delete the channel, as well as import or summarize data. Summarizing allows you to enter basic information and is not used with ADCP measurements as importing is required. Once import is selected, a dialog box will pop up so you can select your file. For Wind River 2 measurements, you should select the MMT file. For Sontec measurements, you would import the .dis file. Once you've selected the correct file, the file type will be identified for your confirmation, and you may or may not see other warnings that you should address as needed. On the channel information page, you will notice many fields are filled out already from the imported data. Simply select a deployment method and confirm the suspension method. Selecting measure will bring us back to the acoustic information page where you can make modifications if needed. Next is the ADCP measurement summary page with your measurement totals. If you had a moving bed correction, be sure to confirm the correct discharge was imported under the correction page. In this case, no correction was applied in Wind River 2, so no correction information was imported. If a moving bed correction was applied in Wind River 2 or River Surveyor Live, the measured and corrected discharge, as well as the correction method, would be filled out automatically though you can manually apply a moving bed correction here too. Next we are brought to the channel summary page, which you likely filled out already. Now, 
This channel is complete and we are brought back to the discharge measurement page where we can add another channel to the measurement or if we are done, we can enter our gauge height information to compare the measured flow to the rated flow. In this case, we see the measurement plots minus 0.4% from the base rating and the same from the shifted rating as there is no shift in effect. Our last task is to fill out the measurement summary page. Typically, I select auto sequence for the measurement number, though you could enter the number if it was known. Rate your measurement, fill out the gauge height information, and populate the start and end time by clicking the appropriate title, which will bring in times from the imported ADCP file. Don't forget measurement remarks. You may have made notes during the measurement already, but you may need to make additional notes here about the measurement rating or gauge height issues. Now, our measurement is complete. If you have questions on the process of staging an EDCP measurement in SWAMI, please contact the SWAMI help group at the email address shown or visit the FSIS webpage at the address zone.